Tragedy in a community east of Ottawa. One police officer is dead, two others injured after an overnight shooting. Good afternoon. We begin with breaking news. One OPP officer is dead, two others are in hospital after a shooting in Bourget, a village just east of downtown Ottawa. The shooting happened around 2 a.m. when officers were called to a disturbance at a home in the community. OPP say the three officers who arrived on scene were all shot by someone at the home. Again, one of those officers has since died. The two others are recovering. Police have set up a command post at the scene. The fallen officer has been identified this morning as Sergeant Eric Mueller, OPP Commissioner Thomas Carrick, saying, quote, our thoughts are with the officers, their families, and the colleagues. The crime scene is on Laval Street in the small community of Bourget, which is located within the wider township of Clarence Rockland. Let's go live there now. CTV's Jeremy Sharon is standing by for us by the scene with the latest. Jeremy. Yeah, Matt, well, Laval Street is behind us here, and as you can see, still very much an active crime scene here. Police have closed off a large section here of Laval Street. This is the main stretch of road here in Bourget, and what is happening behind us, police have, have kind of closed off this area, but further behind and to the right, there is what appears to be the focus of the investigation, where police are focusing on one property. There's a large OPP truck there. We've seen officers coming in and out. Uh, we can see see right now somebody in a in a white suit so presumably officers are there uh, looking at the scene continuing to investigate this as limited information is still available as you mentioned Matt we do know three officers responded to what was a call for somebody who heard a shot fired all three officers were shot one of them has died two of them are in hospital recovering we don't know the extent of their injuries and this has really shaken the community here of Bourget I've spoken to a few neighbors here it's a tight-knit community they say it's very quiet here usually and the interesting aspect here is as I mentioned many say it's a tight-knit community people know each other but many I've spoken to say they didn't know anything about the person that lives at this location so a lot of questions here for people in the area that are concerned they don't know what happened here just like we don't know we know some details we know that three officers again were shot one was killed two are recovering in hospital but we don't know the details uh, of how uh, that happened or what led to that situation. Police responded uh, and we don't know the details of what happened after that. So, so those are some of the questions we'll look for answers to today. We're expecting an update from OPP at one o'clock today, uh, hoping to get some more information surrounding what happened here and about the officers that are also recovering still in hospital. Matt? Yeah, we're going to stay tuned for that, Jeremy. We'll carry that live on our website, ctvnewsottawa.ca. I want to ask you, Jeremy, just give us a sense. I know you haven't been able to get too close close yet to the scene, but is this a large property? Is it just one home? You said that people don't know necessarily the person who lived there. Just give us a sense of that area and what you've seen so far. Right, Matt, so this is about as close as we can get. Police uh, won't let us get any closer, but as mentioned, just down the way is where police are focusing their investigation. And what we've heard from neighbours, again, this is just what neighbours have said, uh, uh, is that the property there, there are two homes. There's a home at the front of the property and another home at the back of the property. We don't know uh, for sure which one is in question here, but that's what neighbours are saying here. I've heard from a few neighbours who say they know the couple that live at the front of the property it's an elderly couple but they know nothing about the person who lives at the back of the property so our understanding right now from neighbors people who know the area is that there are two homes on this block of land so technically two properties uh, and we don't know for sure which one is in question here okay CTV's Jeremy Sharon live in Bourget Forest thank you Jeremy